Martin Room 207. Did you spend your honeymoon here? Do we get 207? You do not. They are going to tear the hotel down tomorrow. Why are you tearing down the hotel? Don't blame it on me, lady. It's not my hotel. Hey. I'm giving a little party. You know where I can get a drink? No, sir. You mean to say I can't get a drink around here? No, sir. No wonder they're tearing the joint down. Good night. You're welcome. Good evening. Reservations for me. Name is Layton. Layton? Oh, I see you're from Miami, Mr. Layton. Yes. You had quite a wind down there some time ago, didn't you? Oh, big wind. I hear it lifted everything but the mortgages. Front? No use, they won't cash it. I thought you said they knew you here. That's the trouble. Why, I thought it was only 50 years old. <gasps> Waiting for someone? Tell if you left alone. As far as you're concerned, I'm still alone. Tearing it down tomorrow. Poor John, you're not getting sentimental, are you? He isn't getting sentimental. He just didn't get the contract. <laughs> I had five dollars for every day I spent in this hotel. You're telling me? See, I'm ringing the porter, miss. Quiet, 99246. I'll ring it for you just a moment. Hello, hotel call Give you orders with me. Hello? Uh-huh. Room yes. 426. I'm frolic beams with all the girls I chatter. How are you, boys? Hello, dummy. <laughs> me, 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 me. You're in good voice tonight, aren't you? Thank you very much, Roy. Oh, say, Donnie. Yes. Are you still playing the Merry Widow? No, no, but I expect to very shortly, Roy. Ah. <laughs> Little children, that was Mr. Roy Apple speaking. Mr. Roy Apple. Oh, oh but, Donnie. Yes. You're not leaving, are you? I have to. I must join the missus down the grill. Well, have a drink before you go. No, thanks. I'm not touching a thing. I will go back. To Maxime's, well, fun and frolic things. Oh, good night, fellas. I'll see you all later. Goodbye, darling. Hotel like this is a city of itself. 
You people outside know what goes on in a place like this. Yeah. Romance, intrigue, happiness, unhappiness, tragedy, comedy. And for all I know, it will go on until the last brick is carted away. Nine o'clock, Friday. They don't answer. Well, you can't get away with that, you dirty rat! Get it! 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 Oh, hello, hello. Hey, Pam. I didn't ask the madam. Oh, I'm right. Hey. Oh, where's it? 843? Uh, Tom. Please. Boy. Calling Mr. Mills. Calling Mr. Mills. Mr. Mills, calling Mr. Mills, calling Mr. Mills, calling Mr. Mills. Hey, boy. Oh. Any answer? Yeah. Thanks, no, no answer. restless. I don't blame her. I'm getting corns waiting for this guy to show. Don't worry. He'll show. I hope so. I've looked at so many faces in the last two weeks, I'm getting dizzy. You always were dizzy. Listen. He's got a fortune hidden someplace in this hotel, and tonight's his last chance to get it. So, we'll wait. Not here. You watch the desk. Okay. We have room B43. B43? We have it at our honeymoon. Yes, it's available. You're very fortunate. You know, we're very nearly full. I'm so glad. Front? Show Mr. Edmonds the 343. Yes, sir. Good evening. Evening. Reservation for A.R. Cooper. A.R. Cooper? I'm very sorry, Mr. Cooper, but when we received your reservation, 705 was not available. However, I've put you in 707. Will that be all right? Well, uh, that's the next room, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Front? Yes, sir. 707. Did you honeymoon here also? Uh, yes. Uh, the hotel holds a very precious memory for me. Mail for Mills. Mills? No mail. Thanks. Senate is here. What did I tell you? What's his room number? 707 under the name A.R. Cooper. Great. Thank 
computer. Operator, is the barber shop still open? Thank you. I'm glad you're a blonde. Why? <laughs> Anything the color of gold is nice to look at. You would think you'd never seen a girl before. <laughs> I'm going to see plenty of them from now on. Says you. Says. Hello? That you, Timmy? He's in the barber shop. Okay. Thank you. Must be pleasant to be shaved by somebody else for a change, eh? I said it must be pleasant to be shaved by somebody else for a change. Yeah. I heard you the first time. The novelty's worn off. I haven't shaved myself for two weeks. Cute little thing. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Thank you. Very becoming. Thanks. I have a great fondness for the old place. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Yeah. No, there's been quite a bit of discussion about you among the boys lately. Boy? What boy? Your pals at headquarters. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are they all? Holding their breath to hear from you. <laughs> they must be exhausted by now. Some of the boys are betting he'll turn the money over. Others are betting it'll be found on him and he'll go back to jail. I told them I thought you'd hand it over. Of course, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Going up? No. Going up? No. Well, goodbye then. Oh, I'll be seeing you later. Later? Later. Occupies that suite? Uh, Mr. Underwood, sir. Oh. Was that Mr. Underwood? Yes, sir. Thanks. Drugstore, sir. Drugstore? Yes, sir, for the young lady. What young lady? I'm fake. 708. What? From the drugstore, miss. Thank you. What's kind of 
of funny to me, sir. What's the matter? I'm afraid it's a suicide. Well, it's a swell night for it. thing to be doing. Let me alone. And have you make a mess of yourself? What's the matter with you? Going crazy? Who are you? What are you doing here? What difference does that make? The point is I am here and I've stopped you from making a fool of yourself. Only have to do it all over again. Why? Oh, you wouldn't understand. How could anybody understand? Why waste all that on a cold slab? You know, you have everything a girl should have. Everything? Sure. Everything you need. There's nothing else you couldn't get if you wanted badly enough. It's not worth it. That's what you think now. The only part of you that wants to die is here. Isn't that enough? No. You know, you've got lots to live for. What? I'll show you. <laughs> well, you've still got a lot of fight in you. That's a good sign. <laughs> That was pretty rough. I'm sorry. Uh, Come on, don't be a quitter. The rotten, dirty world. Are they rotten dirty? Maybe they're no treat for you, but they are for me. They're not much good when you're alone. Everyone else in the hotel is celebrating. They're having a good time. They're happy. They've got friends. But I've got no one. No folks? If I had, I wouldn't let them know what I am. I've been alone for five years without a friendly voice. Without seeing anything beautiful. But you haven't seen rottenness. You've just had your head down. Look up. Up there. They are kind of pretty. Sure they are. Life is grand. It's great to be free. It's great just to be able to draw your breath. Who are you? <laughs> now you're asking questions. And that's another good sign. What's your name? Ruth. Ruth Carter. Do me a favor, Ruth. What's that? Swear off the drugstore cocktails? If the stars are out, and I don't get lonely. Supposing I help? You don't know anything about me. You're taking the same chance. What we've been or what we are, that's our business. You have helped me. More than you know. Well, that's fine. 
Now remember, no more of those cocktails. You know, Ruth, I play hunches. I played one when I crashed in here tonight, and I'm playing one now. You say you're lonely. Well, so am I. So what? So we'll stop being lonely together. You want me? Yes. I have an idea we can get along together. And if we do... Yes? We'll go so far away from here that no one will ever find us. You're almost too good to be true. Everybody in the hotel is celebrating. Why can't we? We'll start right now, tonight. Have you anything to wear? With no dinner clothes. Well, it doesn't matter. You wait here. I'll be back. Because it's the last night, they think they can crash in. But not with me on the job. With you on the job, the position is still vacant. <laughs> well, well, well. Must be an alumni gathering, isn't it? <laughs> no, Martin, I'm sorry. I don't believe too bad. We must fix that someday. Your friend here had uh, quite a course, didn't he? Three years, wasn't it? Ah, baloney. Now, I see that. Should teach him better manners. I do my best. Sure you do, Tierney. Sure you do. Just like he did for Bennett. He must have thought a lot of you during the last five years. Nice new dress for some girl, probably. Boys will be boys. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, you give me a pain. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Open the door and see. I love it, but well, I hope it's dead. It should. The sales girl was about your build. She tried it on. Did she try these on, too? I never thought to ask her. Put them on. Well, I'll wait outside. <laughs> What's the joke? I don't get you. How do you mean? Men have bought me clothes before, but you're the first one that hasn't wanted to help me put them on. I'm just as surprised as you are.
Do you like me? Beautiful. Take. Can you help me? Hey, I will. I think that goes around there. You guessed right. Why did you do this? I well, thought you might need them. Part of the celebration program. Can you afford it? Sure. I'm going to become a rich man tonight. That's why I'm here in the hotel. I've waited years for this night. Sweated for it. Now I'm going to cash in and then... Yes? Cuba. Monte Carlo. Paris. We'll take them apart and see what makes them tick. Are you on? I think you're crazy, but it sounds swell. It will be. Swell. Come on, hurry up. I want to be seen with you. For reasons of my own. Wait a minute. You can get into the room. The gold room of the Hell Continental. This program is coming to you from the grill room of the Hotel Continental. This is Wedgwood Noel speaking. As you know, folks, tonight is the swan song of this famous old man. During its colorful 50 years, the Hotel has been host and his wife. It was here that uh, Adelie Maratura sang for charity in the early 80s. In 1887, Edward, Prince of Wales, was one of our guests. Every president from Cleveland to Hooper, has at one time or another enjoyed our tragedy and crime have also stopped our hope. In this very room, von Strong, ace of German spies, was captured in 1970. Five years ago, James Bennett, known as the, the boy embezzler, was arrested in the lobby. Out here tonight is probably the largest at least one of the largest in the hotel's entire history. They seem to be making a brave attempt to enjoy themselves as they did in the old days. But none of us can quite forget that this marks our farewell to good old Hotel Continental. I thank you. Won't be long now. What she's stalling for, does she have to give him dancing lessons? Let him have a good time while it lasts. But are you sure of her? We'll make sure. the one thing that's been lacking. Friendship. With the money you're going to get, you could buy plenty of friends. No, not real friends. It couldn't buy you. Not if you didn't like me. Would it make any difference if I told you that I'm just out of prison? That I'm a crook? I guess so. The boy in Bessler. <laughs> I'm a little shop worn myself. No, you're not. There's something fine in you, something deep down that you try your best to hide. But it comes creeping out through your eyes sometimes. They promise a lot, Ruth. Laughter, friendship, love, maybe. And they do something to me. I don't know what it is, but it's 
grand. You're not going to tell me you've fallen in love with me already. All I know is that I want to do things for you. I want to keep the smile on that pretty face of yours. You know, we can be very happy together. Oh, shut up. What's the matter? I'm not kidding. I'm on the level. That's what hurts. I would never hurt you, Ruth. I promise you that. Well, let's get out of here. This place is getting on my nerves. trying his best to spoil our holiday. Cuba, Monte Carlo, Paris, Mediterranean, the Riviera. That's where we'll blossom into human beings again. Stay as long as we want, and then drift on to wherever you want to go. having invited Mr. Cooper to join the party. Thunderwood was good enough to ask me in. Don't you think you've had enough? My dear, I'd be very happy if you would kindly mind your own business. I'm sorry if I've embarrassed you. You must pardon my husband. He's not usually rude. Another blonde, but I love I love them. 
<laughs> We've got to get these people out of here. They used to build these old places solidly, didn't they? Yes, indeed. You couldn't find a fireplace like that in every hotel. I should say not. They'll probably put up an office building here. The hotel game isn't what it used to be. Party's dying. I'm going out and get some new customers. Well, why don't we all go down to the grill room and dance? Oh, it's just full of drunks down there. You can all dance up here. Certainly you can. Are you addressing my good man? You, my boy. Come on, outside. What's the trouble, Admiral? Been trying to crash in all evening, sir. Years ago, my patronage was welcome here. Oh, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? Come on, come on, meet my friend. Uh, but, sir, uh, that's all right. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. <laughs> You're no blonde, but you look like a great guy. Come on, we have a little snort, and everything will be all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, never mind, thank you. Where do you suppose she is? With him, of course. We'll hear from her soon. I hope so. Come on, Tommy. Come on, I want you to meet the gang. <laughs> it's a great bunch of folks. Now, come on, don't be bashful. Everything's all right. Now, we'll have a drink. Ha! You place your life. We'll have a couple of drinks. <laughs> Wonder. If you'd mind if I ate first. No, go right ahead. Eat, drink, be merry. Well, help yourself. Play of it. A cake, lady? Don't be a hug. How dare you? I'll have you discharged. Boss of feather. We'd all have been enough for tomorrow anyway. So what's the diff? Ten years ago, I could have had anything I wanted in this hotel. The waiters brought me special menus. Then it used to be, yes, Mr. Winthrop. Anything else, Mr. Winthrop? And tonight, they throw me out. A bum, the doorman called me. <laughs> Swell. 
Maybe. Why the doubt? Jim, this money, well, what would you do if you didn't get it? Nothing can stop me. You're sure of yourself, aren't you? As sure as I am of you. Jack goes on the queen. I thought they called this game solitaire. Did you find out where it is? No. What are you doing here then? Why aren't you with Bennett? I'm not going through with it. What's the idea, Ruth? I can't do it. I, I can't. Yellow, eh? No, but he's regular. He's been so decent to me. I told you this would happen. He succeeded in reforming you then. Call it that if you like. He offered her a bigger cut than we did. He offered me something you wouldn't understand. You like him, eh? I see. He's a master and you're for it. <laughs> I thought you had more brains than to let him get around you like that. Listen, kid, once he gets that money in his hands, He'll wave you goodbye so fast it'll make your head swim. He's no double-crosser. No, he hasn't seen a woman in five years. He'd hand that line to any pretty girl. Play with us and you get your share. Throw us down and, and we'll get the money if we have to wipe him out. You mean you... You kill him? Try it and see. I'll go through with it. I won't cross you. And don't try to pull a fast one. All right. You win. What do you think? She'll come through. She's scared. Walter. Uh, Walter? I think you'll find him in the other room. Excuse me. Have a drink, beautiful. Oh, no, thanks. Oh, I'm 
sorry. I thought... I think now if you go out that way and through the hall, I want to thank you. Thank your wife for being a very charming lady. Better hurry. <laughs> Come on, babe. Let's have a dance, huh? Take your hands off me. I'm dying. Turning? All right. Fix it with the operator, then come here. I'm going to 705. All right. Come on. $20. Sorry, I can't leave now. You don't have to. No? I want to play a joke on a friend of mine. Here's your 20. Boy, you can play 20 jokes for this. Listen, watch room 705. And when you get a signal, plug me in. I'm in 708. Is that all? Oh. One of us must be crazy. Girl, Ben, you must think I'm a terrible for flirt. Why not make the pinch and go home? Not till they have the goods on them. You keep out of sight of them, never touch the stuff. You placed your men? Not yet. Better get it going. I'll keep tabs on this floor. About 7.05. Looks like a stall to me. Don't worry. We'll give them enough rope to hang, sir. From the lesson, as the cow skidded, feet circled around, and girded by the merest miracle. Pardon me, Mom. Can I take you a minute? Certainly. Out here. Look. What is it? The old fellow. You mean he must have... Evidently. Good heaven. It's liable to be a mess. Investigation, I mean. What would you suggest? Get everybody downstairs. If there's not a lot of noise in here, they'll never be able to find the room. Well, of course. Once more, I'm indebted to you. Not at all. You'd better hurry. Yes. What's all the noise? They're all coming out of the room. It won't be long now. Turn that light out over there. That's 
fine. Now lock the door. Bennett, Tierney, Mills, and the girl. Nab them if they try to leave. Right. Lewis, keep back out of sight there. You watch this entrance. Okay. Wait, you watch the barber shop, please. Hey, Madigan, what's this all about? It would take too long to explain. Hey, Parker, what is it? I promised I wouldn't tell. Loosening. Talk tonight, like Tommy forgot to mention he was once one of the our greatest actors. Tommy? Yeah, the old fella. Tommy Winthrop. <laughs> we played a trick on Underwood and he fell for it. Fair enough, though. Give him a good turn tonight. Played Robin Hood, Ruth. Well, what do you mean? Oh, took the rap for him when he would have been caught with that blonde. You took his place when Mrs. Underwood walked in? Uh-huh. Then... you weren't in there with her alone. I should say not. Here it is. Come on, honey. We're on our way. Why? Oh, I, I can't. You must. Luck threw us together, and we're going to stick together. For keeps. I mean it, Ruth. For keeps. We're going to get married. I've got to tell you something. I'm I... stone deaf, honey. Forget everything but getting out of here. Come on, we've got to hurry. Hold it a second. Let's go. What's the hurry, Bennett? Take him up. Smooth work, Ruth. Iodine, sucker. Put him in his room. Get 
And in a few minutes, folks, taps will be played. While the lights are lowered as a tribute to the passing of an old friend. Come on over to the boiler room. The boys are throwing a party. I can't do it. I gotta turn off the lights in a minute. All right. See you later. Touch it. You snooty about where your dough comes from? <laughs> That's a laugh. I may have done some pretty rotten things in my life, but this time I sold out a guy who was white. Wanted her, don't you? No. Suit yourself. Sergeant Madigan, quick. Madigan, Martin talking. Get word to the men at every door. No one in or out. Right. Take that, Mills. You might hurt someone. Say, Martin, I'm clean. Never mind. I have never mind. You haven't never got mind. Get back in the elevator. Drop it to the lobby, Tom. Anything yet?
What is it, another trick? I brought it back to you. Get up. I did it. I'll be all right, Jim. You can make it if you hurry. Hello, operator. Send the doctor up to 707. An accident. It's urgent. And send up Detective Martin. not going. No. There'd be no Monte Carlo. Holiday. I'll have you. Holiday. <laughs> 